Today is September 9th. Oh, it's September 9th. A friend of mine's birthday today. Um, today is September 9th. Um, Monday practice, extra practice for uh, uh, for Peyton. We continue to work just primarily on the forehand side. Um, uh, at the beginning, her, 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 um, I emphasize before I, before I fed any ball to her, try and make sure that you are smooth. There is no stop at one. There is no stop at two. Um, and... Um, even though I said that at the very beginning, the first few, first few were very choppy, her, her strokes, but um, uh, they, she quickly, she quickly uh, actually ended up being quite smooth. Um, things that were a little bit different today that we did, her, we worked on a contact point more in front, having her not drop the racket so much from a position two and, and hitting more sideways, uh, showing you what that means, like your elbows going through, hitting through a stack of books, right? So this right here, getting this to come forward more, we videotaped a stroke. I thought it was further out in front in the video, uh, than the video showed. Um, so getting this, having her move more sideways like that, getting her to rotate the right side a little bit more. She, her words were, were that she was high-fiving somebody down the hall in school uh, to get that hitting through the soccer books uh, idea more. So we're going to continue to work on that. The, the, the biggest issues are her, her, her contact point, her consistency of contact point, which is, which is dependent on her footwork. Her footwork is, uh, um, it, it just, her positioning just varies so much on her footwork. So I have to figure out ways for her to like, to under, understand that. It, it isn't about kind of getting to the ball. It is about getting to the ball exactly and trying to make the distance exactly very similar on each ball. All right? So it's like you have to pay attention to that. You just cannot run to a ball and sort of, I'm kind of there. No, kind of there is no good because then you're adjusting your strokes at position two. Or your contact point is adjusted. Right? It's very difficult um, um, to be to, to have solid consistency with, with poor footwork that causes poor contact point. Okay? Um, backhand side, again, we didn't really do anything. The only thing we talked about was on the backhand side, first feet, to have a little bit of float, a little bit of lag, all right, so that uh, down here, everything continued to move. The words don't make no stop because she has a, at least on the warm-up, it looked like she had a, quite a hard stop here at, at, at second V. Uh, didn't talk about contact play at all. The only thing about talked about was bringing her left foot around. All right, anything else? We did numbers, with the, we did numbers on the forehand side. Uh, again, she hit a four. Um... We, we, uh, she was she was dying out uh, quite quite dramatically um, physically, and um, I, I I asked her I, I needed her to increase her energy to try and try and, and do the last balls uh, as as intense as, as possible. So what I asked her was how many balls do you think you can do where you actually are able to like what you think if you give me a number you are going to be able to run faster hit harder right do everything more correct than all the other balls that we did. At the uh, duration of the whole pre, uh, whole beginning of practice, and she picked seven, and she was able to actually do it. The goal was to do spin numbers, and she kind of forgot about that. But she was moving very aggressively. She was hitting the ball very hard. Um, only in the last two, maybe she actually remembered to make the make the, make the spin. And even though the ball was traveling in a pretty flat trajectory, there was spin on the ball and dropped in. So that was kind of uh, pretty good uh, to watch. So I was very impressed today with the way that she was able to get her elbow. Show me again. Way she was able to suddenly get this part, this part to move forward. Right? Uh, she she does a a, a, scoo, a scooping action mostly when her natural stroke is. Um, did a little bit of overhead. Uh, just checked it. Um, she was delusional, was thinking that her overhead was pretty good. She, she it's effective, um, uh, but I think because uh, footwork is uh, is something that uh, she needs to improve a lot on. Just about everything. The quality of her footwork will improve her overhead as far as contact point positioning again and um, really didn't do any te anything technical um, she doesn't get the, the, the racket up in the correct position her grip looks to be a little bit wrong when she goes up the strings face up to hit the ball instead of the edge going up the ball travels uh, behind her head she lets it go behind her head uh, we talked about make sure to try and get the, the, the ball in, in front of her uh, so her footwork has to uh, she has to um, move backwards as quick, quick enough so the ball can stay in front of her, so that she, when she goes to swing at the ball, right, she's not reaching behind her head to hit the ball, right? Anything else? No. Nope. All right. We'll see you next time.